All right, guys, welcome back. All right, so now this is the third video in this less series of lessons over here. Um, we're covering the formal definition of a derivative over here. And um, so we're talking about formula one and formula two. So I want to talk about just what this notation means over here. So in the previous video, guys, we started talking about this calculation here. The limit is x approaches a of f of x minus f at a over x minus a. So what that's doing is if you have some random curve, okay, so it doesn't even matter what it looks like. So there's like a cubic polynomial over here. It could be something like this. If I want to figure out this, I'm going to call this guy a f at a, and I want to figure out the tangent at this guy over here, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of do this question in reverse here. Let's say that here's a point x, f of x, and I want to figure out the slope of the tangent at this point over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line between them, which is a secant line, okay? And I can calculate the slope. I can go this f of x minus f at a over x minus a like this, okay? And we, we have this over here as well. So there's, there's our secant line. And then if this a value approaches this x value over here, it's going to, the slope of the secant line is going to approach the slope of the tangent line over here, okay? Now, what this notation means over here this means the derivative of f of x. Now, what a derivative is, it's a function that gives you the slope of the tangent at any x value that you want. Okay, So f of x is our original function. f prime of x, the derivative of x, gives us the slope of the tangent over here. So coming back to this, um, again, our, our slope calculation is y minus y, f of x minus f of a, over x minus x, x minus a, and the limit is x is approaching a, right? So, so, so this is how um, formula one kind of works, okay? So like this. Now let's kind of apply this to a few examples. Calculate uh, the derivative of the function f of x is 3x squared minus 4 using formula one. So formula one is f prime of x equals f of x minus f at a over x minus a, and this is the limit as x approaches a. Okay, so what's our f of x function? Our f of x function is 3x squared minus 4. f at a is just going to be 3a squared minus 4 over x minus a, okay? So this is equal to limit as x approaches a of 3x squared minus 4 minus 3a squared plus 4. I just distribute the negative through the brackets here over x minus a. The negative 4s cancel out. And what, so I'm left with 3x squared minus 3a squared. I'm going to factor out a 3. Okay, so... So now we have a difference of squares, x squared minus a squared factors to x plus a, x minus a. Okay. Now this works. Again, um, we can't plug in because we have the non-permissible value here, but these guys cancel out. Okay. Now, now what we're going to do over here is instead of saying x approaches a, I'm just going to take this value of x and I'm going to put it in for a. So this leaves me with equals 3 times x plus x, which is 3 times 2x, which is 6x. Okay, so, 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 so that's what we get for this guy over here. The derivative is equal to 6x. So again, what this is... Sorry guys, my pen's not working right now. 
So this is a function which gives the slope of the tangent to f of x given any value of x. Okay, so, the, so in other words, if I had this function over here and said when x equals 2, okay, um, so, so what's 3x squared minus 4 going to look like? It's going to look like a parabola like this, right? So there's 3x squared minus 4, very general sketch. If x equals um, 2 for this guy, the big over here, and so the, the point of this guy would be like kind of 2 comma, uh, 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 minus 4 is 8, so 2 comma 8. Well, the slope of the tangent at this guy, so if we draw a tangent here, 6 times 2 is 12. That means the slope of this line is going to equal 12. Okay, and that's what this um, formula one has given us. Let's try another one. Calculate the derivative of the function f of x equals x 5x cubed using formula one. Now, guys, I'm just going to give you a quick review over here. a cubed minus b cubed. is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And that's just uh, the formula for a difference of cubes. We're going to need it in this case over here. So formula one is f prime of x equals the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Okay, so our f of x is 5x cubed, f at a is 5a cubed over x minus a. We have a common factor of 5. And now x cubed minus a cubed, we have to apply this formula over here. This is our difference of cubes formula. All right, so like we did in the last one, the x minus a's are now able to cancel out. And I'm going to take this value of x and plug it in for the a's equals 5 times x squared plus x times x plus x squared. So this is like 5 times 3x squared, which equals 15x squared. So therefore, our derivative, f prime of x, equals 15x squared. Okay, so this is our derivative function here. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick pause, and I'm going to show you how Formula 2 works next.